Monday morning's devotional. Hey, glad that you were online with us or in the room with us yesterday. Uh, I want you to do this. Pause this video right now. And I want you to grab a pen or a pencil and write something down, okay? So pause, grab a pen, be able to write on something. Here's the scripture we're gonna look at. This is what we talked about yesterday. Galatians 6, 2, carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you'll fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks there's something when they are not, they deceive themselves. Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. Let me summarize this. Carry each other's burdens without comparing yourself to them. So I gave you four things that said, try and do these things. So would you write down a response to each one of these four? Here we go, ready? You got your pen? You got your paper? First is this, let's shut down comparison. Let's shut down the comparison trap by thanking God for who he made you to be and how he's blessed you. So I want you to pause right now and actually hit the pause video and write this down. What are you grateful for? That how God has made you and what he's blessed you with. Just hit pause, write it, then come back. Go. All right, second thing I want you to write down. Uh, who has carried a burden for you when it was overwhelming? I mean, who, who carried that burden? Write their names down. All right, ready? Number three. What burden would you share with somebody today? What's the thing that's overwhelming you? That word burden in the Greek it means that there is something that is prolonged suffering in your life. And I know we can use that word suffering uh, pretty loosely, but what's that thing that you've just carried for a long time and it's heavy? Who would you share it with? Would you write a name down? You don't have to yet, but write their name down. Fourth, final thing. Gently offer to carry someone else's burden share a quick story with you. There's a guy walking down the street. He falls into a hole and the walls are so steep that he can't get out. A doctor passes by and shouts to the guy and says, hey, can you help me out? The doctor writes him a prescription, throws it down the hole and moves on, right? A priest comes along and the guy shouts up at him, father, I'm down in this hole. Can you help me out? The priest writes a prayer, throws it down in the hole, and then he moves on. This friend shows up and the guy in the hole yells, hey, Joe, it's me, can you help me out? And the friend jumps in the hole with him. And our guy in the hole says, are you stupid? Now we're both down here. And the friend says, yeah, but I've been down here before and I know the way out. Is there anybody that you can jump in the pit with today to be of a help to? The reason I had you write those four things down is this. Do any one of those lead you to a further action today where you can go live out carrying someone's load or, or burden or let them carry yours and releasing this comparison trap? Just ask God, out of these four things, what do you want me to do? God bless you. Have a great day.